His Majesty the King of Thailand is due to lead thousands of cyclists in an across-town bicycle ride again in December. December 9th is the expected date and, we're told, will feature His Majesty alongside two of his daughters riding in the event. That started out as Bike for Dad back in 2015. All of those with two wheels and pedals are welcome to join and it's expected that upwards of 40,000 people will take place in the 24-kilometre marathon that will see many streets closed for the day. The handover of the leadership of ASEAN took place yesterday in a ceremony that saw a symbolic gavel, a hammer, passed from the outgoing Singaporese leader to Prime Minister General Prayut, and Thailand is committed to push ASEAN to finalise the negotiations on the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership and the South China Sea Code of Conduct. In London, British air accident investigators are looking at possible defects in the rotor of the helicopter that crashed, killing Thai entrepreneur Kun Vichai last month, along with four others. The crash outside the King Power Stadium after a Premier League match has seen the investigators advise other owners to have their rotors fully inspected. The Danish embassy is the latest to confirm that they'll not be issuing income certification for visa purposes to their nationals. Siding with the UK, along with the US, Australia and others, they're quoted as saying that the embassy is legally unable to fulfil the Thai authorities' requirements. In Chachin Sao, karma seems to have got its man, as a 55-year-old Thai driver fled the scene of an accident where he crashed into a car, injuring two others. Speeding to escape, he made just one kilometre before again crashing, this time into two vehicles in a vendor food stall. He died at the scene, six others were injured. Just as fag makers Philip Morris seemed to have designed a packet that made it harder for forgers to copy, new rules may be introduced as soon as next year for cigarette sales here in Thailand. Packaging is to be totally plain, with only a warning pasted on them alongside the brand name. No colours, no decoration and one design for all. The wackiest court claim has been filed this week as a Siam Commercial Bank customer appears to have filed a claim against her bankers after she gave out her bank account details in a call centre scam. The scammers used the details that she gave them to open online banking in her name and fleeced her of nearly 2 million baht. The customer claims it was the bank's fault and that they should have noticed a difference in her withdrawal pattern. She wants her money back plus interest. Australians love their Barbies, all except for one 63-year-old who threw another steak on the barbecue on his Phuket moored catamaran, only for fat to fly and catch fire. He was rescued. His 7 million baht boat took it less well. Meanwhile at home and in Pattaya, friends of Paul Markham, a long-time expat here who passed away last week, are invited to a celebration of his life at Hemingway's tonight with a 5 o'clock start and a promise of a free buffet. Armour Fashion, on the corner of Pattaya Klang and Second Road, has undergone a complete refurb. The friendly and no-pressure tailor store saw the new facilities open this week ahead of the high season. Dress to impress with Armour Fashion. And with the Met Office promising highs today of 31, dropping down to 24 and a good chance of rain at some time, that is the local and national news from fabulous 103FM. Keeping you in touch with Thailand and of course Pattaya, the city of fun.